open up. You open up. What's going on, DK Dollies? Every time I get on here, my closet is open. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to come on here and pack another quick order with y'all. It's Friday the 31st, and I just got home from work. Hold on, let me get my charger for my phone. <laughs> I don't want it to die on y'all. All right. Y'all, excuse my face because it's breaking out, but <clears throat> <sighs> let me catch my breath because I've been on fat people syndrome lately. Anyways, I just got home from work and I have another order that I had today. And um, I just kind of had a busy day. If y'all didn't know, I work on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And throughout my week, I do hair and run my business. And you know what I'm saying? Just to, because I like extra money. And I need extra money because your girl trying to take some trips. So, um, my customer has ordered some of the, some of our lip gloss. So, I'm going to just show y'all, like... The little section over here. Hold on. Let's see if I can put y'all closer. And you still can't see. <clears throat> so she's ordered some lip gloss. So up here I just have lip gloss and sugar lip scrubs. Down here is just like my lash uh shampoo and stuff. And then down here is just um packaging stuff situations. So she ordered some lip gloss. So what I'm going to do is, and these are the only ones I have left, are the classy ladies. Y'all, I will be restocking like on all of my stuff, but I'm trying to wait to like, um, I'm going to start restocking probably like mid to end of February. So around March, April, uh, like I will have a lot more options for y'all. So she's ordered two of these and you guys do know that when you... So when you buy a lip gloss, you actually get a squeeze tube for free because when I had started making my lip gloss, like the tops on the squeeze tubes, they kind of come off a little bit. But y'all, the trick to that is when you get your squeeze tubes with um, lip gloss, if you order anything from off my site, just kind of like take the squeeze tube off like really gently and the stopper will stay on there. And, um, but yeah, that's a little malfunction. It was my first time making it. It was the first go around. So definitely learned my lesson from that. And we definitely have like better, um, squeeze tubes coming and bigger squeeze tubes. Cause if you see, and I sit this next to my hand, well, I'm gonna just measure it to my finger, my middle finger. Yeah. So we have some bigger and better stuff going on. So she ordered two of these. Oh, but like I was saying, every wand tube comes with a free squeeze tube. So, I'm going to just put these in there. And then, I really wish, like, y'all could see everything that I'm doing right now. But, and then I'm going to put this in there. And I just made some thank you cards earlier today for shopping with my business. But I didn't go get them printed out today. Um, I need to get that done. And, um, yeah, y'all, we getting together. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been supporting my business, y'all. It makes me so excited to wake up in the morning and see orders on my website. And then I'm going to just get out one of my smaller poly millers so these are some of my smaller poly millers and y'all seen what the big ones look like the big ones are just a bigger version of these right so hold on let me see if y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. so yeah and then i also have these right here this is what I used to put my hair in 
and then just put them in little boxes or just uh, ship them in. These work really good too. But those are like mostly for like clothing items. And then I still got like, I still have some of uh, these little plastic things for you to actually put the hair bundles in. So, but when I had ordered these, they were like way too small. So I never really got a chance to use these. And I had to use like some of the other ones. So I still keep these just in case. I never know. They might come in handy for something one day. So I'm just sit this back in there. And then I also had got some of these. These are kind of like the holographic things that everybody be using now. But see, when I had these a long time ago, y'all, I used to have these stickers that say thank you for um, shopping with DK4 Beauty. And as a matter of fact, uh, let me see if I have some more of these, love, because I could put some more of these on my thing. I actually made these off of, I forgot what I made these off of, but I had went to go get them printed out from, um, Office Depot. And I like these, too, because it actually says the business website on there. So, real quick, let me see if I have some more of those. Um... I just keep a lot of my stuff inside. Like when you have a business, it's important to get organized. This is just like my little thing. I have a lot of these little um, clear things in there. So I just keep all of my like important stuff like that in here. And I used to keep those things in there too. Like this is where I put all of my tax information, uh, my business plan, like all of my important business stuff to keep it together like my prices for everything a couple receipts and some stuff like that um i think i'm completely out of those things well that sucks because those things were really freaking cute let me see if i got something to go and then y'all i used to have um these when I was selling hair too. Shot with us today, hair and lashes and stuff like that. Become a drama doll and then they had the Instagram name. I gotta, well, I actually made some more flyers and everything, but there's like a lot more stuff that I need to get made. Let's see if I have some in here. Some thank you for shopping with us, stickles. Nope, but I have a lot of my lash stickles. In my labels video, this is what I was talking about with the lash labels that I had. Y'all see how big these things are? And these are not like the super transparent ones, but you get a lot of these. Like I had, I had so many of these things, y'all. So anytime I have like lashes and stuff on my website, I always tend to use like the same lash name because I have so many of them and I just add like a different style to the name. And it's cause you don't want to be wasteful of your stuff and not everybody gonna remember the exact style that you had. So I'm gonna just put her lip glosses in here. And I am gonna use one of these, um, little bootleg thank you cards it doesn't matter it's still a thank you card y'all so i'm gonna use one of these like i did in my last video and i'm gonna use a green slip this time even though it's a gray one. Oh, you know what i'm gonna use a gray one And I'm going to just put that in there. And same thing like last time. I don't have a chance to actually print out the order information. And, um, and put it in here because my printer doesn't work. So I will just send her her order information um, through email. And... Hold on. Say these out real quick. Thank you, letter. 
And then the two lip glosses. And then I'm just going to steal this little package. And then I'm going to put one of my thank you for shopping with my small business letters on here. Y'all give me a sticky. So, I also have this little station kind of organized too up here. Um, this is just my iPad. And then I always have a journal, y'all. I always keep me a journal. Even like um, last year, I had a journal too. And this journal was so full, like almost every page in this journal is like completely full. I use it so much. And if you can't print out like your order slips from what they ordered, you can put it on receipts. I have a receipt book and my receipt book is about full and I need a new one of those. And I started to do that, but you know, it's all right. So, the thank you things that I showed y'all last time, I just put them in a, a manila folder. So I'm gonna just grab one of those. I don't know where that other sheet that I had started using it. So I'm gonna just grab one of these. And then, because this one is a smaller um, thing I'm gonna actually put this one on the back more than likely when they um put the shipping label on here they're gonna put it on the front so I'm gonna stick this on the back right here thank you for supporting my small business and then I'm going to actually write on a sticky note um her order information but um, I'm going to do it off camera. And then tomorrow, I will actually drop this one off to the post office. Because um, I feel like the post office might be a little bit cheaper when it comes to shipping. Uh, if y'all didn't know. Now, I do need to buy me a scale, though. So that way, I can kind of weight everything and go based off of weight. So I can actually add the weight to my website. So it'll track the correct amount of shipping for me. But until then, this is fine. But thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And thank you guys for shopping with me. I really appreciate it so much. Um, I have a couple more things of lip gloss. I'm going to show y'all real quick. This is my little stash right here, y'all. This is like, well, I have these sugar scrubs. I have plenty of sugar scrubs made because I just made some more the other day. And... um. I have like a couple of things of lip gloss. Let me see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yup. I have seven. I have seven of my classy lady wand tubes left. Seven, y'all. So, and like I told y'all. Get them while you can because uh, I'm going to have some more stuff on there. I'm going to actually order some stuff um, coming up probably like on Tuesday um, because I need to just stock up everything. But with me moving and stuff, I've been trying to get like, y'all, I don't live on a YouTuber's paycheck. And with me being a hairstylist and even though I worked for myself a lot last year, like a lot of my money went into moving and other stuff. So I'm trying to, you know do things get like what i need to get done first and um because this is not the only thing part of my business that i have to keep supplied up because i also have to keep stuff like my hair inventory for um like my shampoos my conditioners my relaxers all of my hair stuff that i need for my clients and i could go inside cosmo prof and spend like a hundred dollars on like three things a shampoo is ridiculous so that's why stuff is kind of stocked up a little bit like low right now until like soon and then i got a couple more lashes and stuff low but 
thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope this inspired you and motivates you to get out here and start your business stay consistent stay motivated stay positive because your time will come my time is just not coming and this is like this is my third year in business okay three years and far as the end of last year the end of my second year and into my third year things are just not starting to really pick up for me like i want them to but y'all stay consistent stay motivated i love y'all i'll see y'all in the next video if you made it all the way to the end of this video um comment down below growing business 2020 at the end of all of my videos i'm gonna give y'all a word to comment down below and yeah, just to see if y'all participated in the whole video. But comment down below, Growing Business 2020. And if you have a business, drop the link to your business website um, and your Instagram or your Facebook page for your business down below so we can all support each other. And I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you. Bye.